Welcome to the February 11th, 2019 uh, City Council meeting. Will those in attendance please join the City Council in the salute to our flag? Roll call of the members, Councillor Giannino. Here. Here, Councillor Keefe. Here. Here, Councillor McKenna. Here. Here, Councillor Morbido. Here. Here, Councillor Novoselsky. Here. Here, Councillor Patch. Here. Here, Councillor Powers. Here. Here, Councillor Rizzo. Here. Here, Councillor Rotundo. Present. Here, Councillor Zambudo. Here. Here, and Council President Guinasso. Here. Here, quorum is present. Calendar item number two, approval of the journal of the regular meeting of January 28th, 2019. So audited. Calendar item number three, the City Council will enter into executive session for the purpose of discussing litigation strategy concerning Stibble versus City of Revere to operate an auto body shop at 855 Broadway. The City Council will enter into executive session for the purpose of discussing litigation strategy concerning Stifle versus City of Revere to operate an auto body shop at 855 Broadway. The City Council will reconvene reconvening in open session after the conclusion of the executive session. Is there a motion to go into executive session? Motion. In favor, all opposed? Roll call has been ordered. Councillor Giannino? Yes. yes. Councillor Keefe? Yes. Yes. Councillor McKenna? Yes. Yes. Councillor Morbido? Yes. Yes. Councillor Novoselsky? Yes. Yes. Councillor Patch? Yes. Yes. Councillor Powers? Yes. Yes. Councillor Rizzo? Yes. Yes. Councillor Rotundo? Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Gunasso. Yes. Yes, the City Council will now enter into executive session. All those members of the City Council, uh, please leave the chamber until uh, the session is over. Motion to return to the regular order of business. All in favor, all opposed? Aye. So ordered. Next order of business, Madam Clerk. Counter item number four, hearing called is ordered on a loan order request in the amount of $3.8 million for water main improvements. Proponents, any proponents, anyone wishing to speak in favor, please come to the podium, state your name and address for the record, please. Nick Rystrom, City Engineer, 281 Broadway. I want to speak as a proponent um, on this order, uh, this loan will uh, be for uh, much needed water improvements uh, in various locations throughout the city, uh, most notably uh, some of the streets off of Park Ave um, that coincidentally are uh, planning to be paved as well, uh, some work on North Shore Road uh, as well as um, uh, Shirley Avenue, which also coincidentally is slated for some um, street, streetscape upgrades and then also some other uh, sort of miscellaneous uh, improvements, which includes various locations for hydrants uh, and um, inline gate valves within the system. And so um, these are pipes that are aging, and in some cases installed close to 100 years ago, um, and ones that we also have had problems with in the uh, recent past. Um, and so we're looking to try to um, replace those uh, pipes and increase uh, the quality of the infrastructure uh, in the city in general. Any other members of the audience wishing to speak as a proponent in favor of this proposal? Seeing and hearing none, are there any opponents, anyone in opposition in the audience? Oh, seeing and hearing none, any councillors wishing to speak? Councillor McKenna. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Nick, can I ask you a question? Any work being done in Beachmont? I, we have like a number of streets per lav, uh, you know, all those flooded streets that are. Uh, so one that comes to mind just offhand is um, Washington Square. Uh, we had some issues there with some breaks um, recently um, where the condition of the pipe um, uh, was determined after the, the break happened and we could actually physically see. Uh, so that's one um, that hopefully we'll be able to uh, include. Um, it depends a little bit on how bids come in and how far we can uh, push the improvements. Uh, but there will also be, um, like I said earlier, there's uh, miscellaneous locations with uh, hydrants and um, gate valves, and so there likely will be some of those in that area as well. Thank you, Council McKenna. Council Patch. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Nick, uh, there's a list of streets here that uh, 2019 Water Main Improvement Project. Uh, these are the streets that uh, this money is going to? Yes. Well, would you forget about Ward 6? Uh, no, so they're not. It's based on the known issues that we've had recently with uh, significant breaks and multiple breaks and also this coincidental um, repaving and street, streetscapes and um, that sort of thing. So we didn't leave anything out deliberately. Um, these are some of the streets that um, have been indicated to me uh, through the Water and Sewer Department that um, are in need of some attention. Well, I got streets that don't have any drainage at all. I mean, um, so just to clarify, this is water work, so it wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to do uh, drainage work with this with this law. Well, I'm sure there's a, there's problems with streets and uh, Ward Six with that. I know up in North Revere there was uh, uh, water breaks. There was um, uh, there's water breaks on Squire Road. Um, uh, I could go back and get some more for you, but I mean, oh, this, so I mean, is. this is just thrown at us, and uh, you know, I look at it, and he took good care of the Ward Four Councilor, good care of the uh, Ward Two Councilor, and uh, that's it. So, I apologize if it looks that way. It wasn't. It wasn't specifically pointing out, you know, certain wards. Um, believe it or not, there is. Um, Infrastructure, water infrastructure throughout the city right. uh, that needs attention. Right. Um, unfortunately, it can only, you know, get to so many at a time. So we try to prioritize the ones that um, Why don't you have spread the issues. wealth. Though? Why don't you spread it? I didn't. I didn't think about it that way. I know um, you didn't. Yeah. You know, so I apologize. It was not intentional. I bet. All right. I'm done. Thank you, Councilor Patch. Councilor Powers. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, uh, just uh, two questions, uh, Mr. Reistrom. Councilor. This, uh, this has nothing to do with the $3 million we're going to be spending down in the Oak Island area to jack under the tracks uh, and uh, satisfy the... He's had an insult to injury now. <laughs> that's correct. It's, that's, that's a separate, separate... Okay. Correct. What area in Ward 5, or what... We're on North Shore Road, and I can define what ward it's in. Uh, where are we spending this money on North Shore Road? So some of this is um, slated for North Shore Road between Revere Street and Charmette Street. Uh, there's a, a, a very old, outdated line there that we've had breaks um, in the past. Uh, it's difficult to address those. It's also undersized. Um, we have uh, new infrastructure nearby that, um, you know, is taking a lot of uh, the pressure there, but we still have issues in North Shore Road, um, and it's something that has also kind of been um, on the list for so this is this is time. you're talking about Sharma Street, the lower end of uh, yeah, uh, Revere Re Street. Revere right? Street to Sharma. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Councilor Novoselsky. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Nick, um, this morning we have one, another one on the Review Beach Parkway. Mm -hmm. um, what's the look see for having that stretch done from Woods Ave down to? Uh, so that's part of the next. That's. In the next round, if you will. Um, will that happen this year? Um, not likely. No. Yeah, because the guys spent hours and hours and they hours. They did, yeah. From five feet. Right. 
Okay. Yeah, I, so it, you'll find that situation in the city, throughout the city where the infrastructure is um, very old, it's aging, it's you know deteriorating, and um, there's any number of locations that uh, you know could use attention, and a lot of it is in need of serious attention. You know, unfortunately, we only have so much that we can do at a time. Thank you, Councilor Nowitzowski. Councilor Keefe. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, I do want to speak in, in favor of this. Obviously, yes, I, I, I understand Ward 4 is going to uh, uh, re re represent a lot of the benefit of this, but it, a lot of it has to do with the priority of the need of uh, for new water uh, pipes in those areas, but also the fact that some of these streets are going to be repaved in the next few years. So rather than repave them and then rip them up later, get them in line with get them in line with the repavement of some of these streets in Ward 4. So, but I, I am in favor of this. Thank you. We from Ward 3 and Ward 6 are very happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Any other councilors wishing to speak? Councilor Janino. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm definitely in support of this. I think it's important, even though it's a good chunk of money, that we address these things because part of the reason that we're under the consent decree that we're under from the state is from decades of neglect to our infrastructure. So by being proactive and investing back into our community, this is something that affects residents directly. It affects their water pressure, it affects the reliability of water in their home, it affects their commute and their quality of life when a water main's broken and the street's flooded. So it's something that uh, there's an immediate benefit to the resident when we fix it and we address it. We pay a lot of money for water in the city of, city of Revere. So for the amount of money we pay, we should have the best water mains and the best services to our city. So I'm definitely in support of it. And I hope that Ward 3 and 6 get a little attention later in the year. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Janino. Councilor Morabito. Thank you, Mr. President. I echo the same um, thoughts as my colleague. Um, I think these are necessary areas where we need to correct the situation. Plus, we have the funding. So let's go for it and do it. Thank you, Councilor. One time for Councilor Patch. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Mr. President, for letting me speak again. Uh, also, Nick, uh, my ward, Ward 6, uh, the last tax, tax bills, uh, on, uh, the highest one that got hit, the hardest one that got hit was Ward 6 with increases. I mean, you can't, wow. you're telling me now, you're, you got this list, and then you're going to give him $3 million. Uh, I just, uh, I don't get it, uh, you know. You don't have to worry about me. I'm, not, I'm only going to be around till January. So uh, why, don't you, why don't you do something for the next Ward 6 Council? Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Patch. <laughs> now, the request comes before us as a roll call. And shall the City Council approve a loan order in the amount of $3,800,000 for the water main improvements? On the roll call. On the loan order, Councillor Giannino. Yes. Yes, Councillor Keefe. Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councillor Morbido. Yes. Yes, Councillor Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, Councillor Patch. No. No, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rotundo. No. 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 Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Guinasso. Yes. Yes, the loan order has been approved. The next is a roll call on the vote of a res resolution. Shall the City Council approve the resolution relative to the $3.8 million water main improvement loan order? On the Roll. resolution, Councillor Janino? Yes. Yes, Councillor Keefe? Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna? Yes. Yes, Councillor Morbido? Yes. Yes, Councillor Novoselsky? Yes. Yes, Councillor Patch? No. No, Councillor Powers? Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo? Yes. Yes, Councillor Rotundo? Yes, Councillor Zambudo? Yes. Yes, and Council President Guanasso? Yes. Yes, Mr. the resolution President, has been approved. Councillor Novoselsky, suspension of rules. Reconsideration, hoping it will not prevail. And reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. Council President? Councillor Rotundo. As we are under um, suspension of rules, I was wondering if we could uh, take Suspend up. Suspend rules of calendar item number eight. That was my next order of business. Thank you, Councillor. You're a beautiful guy. Madam Clerk? <laughs> Calendar item number eight, we're under suspension of rules. Didn't we, did we vote on the Calendar item number five is the Legislative no, Affairs Council, Subcommittee. Count, cap, oh, <laughs> Calendar number eight. Okay. Calendar item number eight is a communication from the Mayor requesting the City Council to vote on the attached statement of interest form to authorize the Superintendent to submit a grant application to the Massachusetts School Building Authority. 
Superintendent Kelly informed the mayor last week that the application window just opened for the M MSBA and applications are due on February 15th. A vote will be required tonight in order to move forward with the application. Hopefully the MSBA will approve the application so that the students and faculty can have a new roof and new windows. And this, by the way, is for the Lincoln School. There are two uh, votes required, both by roll call. I will read them as we proceed. Superintendent Kelly. Don't do this, because we're missing service fees. We're missing, this is bullshit. Thank you very much. Um, so I know that people are probably thinking uh, that the main reason we're working with MSBA is for the new high school, which we were recently brought into the core program on, thankfully. Uh, we'll be officially starting that program in June. Uh, we anticipate it's going to be a six to eight year process of building the new high school, and in the meantime, the two buildings that really need some attention from us are the Lincoln School and the Beachmont School. Um, thanks to the, the kindness and the forward thinking of this body and the past legislators in the city of Riviere, we've been able to build our five new buildings, uh, which have taken care of our other elementary and middle schools. Doing this work at the Lincoln School and then some work at the Beachmont School in conjunction with the new high school is really gonna give us a complete K through 12 state of the art system for all of the children of Riviere. Uh, we, I was able to meet with uh, our facilities department and the mayor's office and uh, Mr. Vizquet's office to put together a multi-year plan on how we can implement some work that needs to be done uh, as this application is around the roof and windows at the Lincoln School and then the Beachmont School also needs some attention to its windows. It needs new windows that are not functioning properly and they actually need a new boiler system at the Beachmont. However, uh, the more important or the more time sensitive work is the work that needs to happen at the Lincoln because the roof has been found in 2017 to be rather porous. And um, that roof is only 40 years old, but we believe that there may have been some damage with the tornado that we didn't recognize as tornado damage at the time. Uh, and we think that has exacerbated the aging of that roof system. At the same time, uh, the windows certainly need to be replaced. They're original to the building. They're single pane glass, so they're not at all uh, energy efficient. And as the city works on a separate plan to introduce air conditioning in that building, it would not behoove us to do so without new, build, new windows. Um, so we are hoping this week to submit the application to the MSBA for a new roof and windows. Uh, this, what you're voting tonight is just to give me permission to submit that application. It in no way commits the city to any money or to, or to doing the project. We don't have a cost estimate right now. I can tell you that the Garfield roof, which we just recently replaced, uh, cost about $8 million, of which the city paid 20%. Um, so we paid only about $1.2 million for, for that. Um, and that's a much larger roof than what we're looking at at the Lincoln. So mathematically, we would think that this, this project, uh, with the windows included, might come in at roughly that same price point, but we won't know until the MSBA first invites us into the accelerated repair program, which isn't guaranteed. And then uh, second, they do a design study to tell us exactly what needs to be done and what it's gonna cost. Uh, but at this point here, I'm just asking your permission to submit the statement of interest uh, with no financial attachment to it. Thank you, Superintendent Kelly. I think that's uh, self-sufficient. I think we should go forward with this. And I ask that uh, we take two uh, roll calls on this. I'll read both into the record language for the votes and attached to the communication. Madam Clerk. On the first vote is for the Lincoln School roof resolved having convened in an open meeting on February 11, 2019, prior to the SOI submission closing date. The Revere City Council, in accordance with its charter, bylaws, and ordinances, has voted to authorize the superintendent to submit to the MSBA the statement of interest form dated February 15th, 2019 for the Lincoln School located at 68 Tuckerman Street, Revere, Mass., which describes and explains the following deficiencies in the priority categories. Number five, 
replacement, renovation, or modernization of school facility systems such as roofs, windows, boilers, heating, and ventilation systems to increase energy conservation and decrease energy-related costs in a school facility, specifically a new roof, for which an application may be submitted to the MSBA in the future and hereby further specifically acknowledges that by submitting this statement of interest form, the MSBA in no way guarantees the acceptance or the approval of an application the awarding of a grant or any other funding commitment from the MSBA or commits the city, town, regional school district to filing an application for funding with the MSBA. Councillor Gino. Yes. Yes, Councillor Keith. Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councillor Morbido. Yes. Yes, Councillor Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, Councillor Patch. Yes. Yes, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rotundo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Guinasso. Yes. Yes, the statement of interest uh, has been approved for the Lincoln roof. Vote two is for the Lincoln school windows. Resolved, having convened an open meeting on February 11th, 2019, prior to the SOI submission closing date, the Revere City Council, in accordance with its charter, bylaws, and ordinances, has voted to authorize the superintendent to submit to the MSBA the statement of interest form dated February 15th, 2019, for the Lincoln School, located at 68 Tuckerman Street, Revere, Mass., which describes and explains the following deficiencies in the priority categories. Number five, replacement, renovation, or modernization of school facility systems such as roofs, windows, boilers, heating, and ventilation <coughs> systems to increase energy conservation and decrease energy-related costs in a school facility, specifically new windows, for which an application may be submitted to the MSBA in the future and hereby further <coughs> specifically acknowledges that by submitting this statement of interest form, the MSBA in no way guarantees the acceptance or the approval of an application, the awarding of a grant or any other funding commitment from the MSBA, or commits the city, town, regional, school district to filing an application for funding with the MSBA. Councillor Gino. Yes. Yes, Councillor Keefe. Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councillor Morbido. Yes. Yes, Councillor Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, Councillor Patch. Yes. Yes, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rotundo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Guinasso. Yes. Yes, the statement of interest uh, for the Lincoln School windows has been approved. Refer back to the regular audit business count item number five, and prior to that, I recognize count, uh, Vice President uh, Councillor Keefe. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, ju I just wanted to uh, offer our sincere condolences to the Ambrosino family for their loss this past week. Um, if anyone didn't know, Margaret Ambrosino passed away last week and uh, mother of the fo uh, former mayor, Thomas Ambrosino. So if we can offer a moment of silence, that'd be great. Please rise for a moment of silence. Thank you. Madam Clerk. Calendar item number five is the Legislative Affairs Subcommittee Report. Council Keefe will offer his report referring amended citywide resident parking program to the Traffic Commission for review. Council Keefe. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, earlier today, we discussed uh, for some time uh, in regards to the motion presented by Council McKenna and Council Janino on the citywide uh, permit parking program. Um, there was much discussion from some um, vested parties as well as some uh, residents that had interest in, in, in providing some input. With that being said, the uh, chairman of the Traffic Commission, uh, Mr. Uh, Genzio, came and uh, offered to um, push out the next Traffic Commission meeting to the second or around the second week of March to give uh, more, more time for the city to advertise and to uh, inform residents that there may be some um, changes in discussion, and this would help open up the door to more input from the community. So we did order this um, um, motion to the Traffic Commission the, uh, to be further reviewed and uh, amended, and then uh, we can talk about an implementation, but this will be going in front of the Traffic Commission sometime in March. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Keith. Uh, refer to uh, traffic. Calendar item number six is the Ways and Means Subcommittee Report. Councilor Rizzo will offer his report. 
Request two roll call votes are required, two different contracts. Shall the City Council approve the solar alternative on bill credit agreement between the City of Revere and Air East Solar LLC? And the second being, shall the City Council approve the solar alternative on bill credit agreement between the City of Revere and Bridgewater Landfill Solar LLC? Councilor Rizzo. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, this really is just an amendment of a contract the city already has with Citizens Energy. Uh, the original agreement was signed back, I think, in 2014, I believe. Um, and uh, so far, it's, been, it's worked out very good for the city. We've saved about $400,000 so far. The estimated savings to the community uh, at, the, uh, at the conclusion of the contract is estimated to be about $4 million. So, um, you know, buying these energy credits has definitely worked out for the city. And I think this extension that's going to help um, 150 families save up to $150 in energy costs, uh, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And, and you know, in fact, I just wish it, we could have done more for more people. So um, the committee, in its wisdom, uh, voted unanimously to support both of these agreements. and. I would ask that, uh, that the uh, council as a whole uh, vote in favor as well. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Chairman Rizzo. Madam Clerk. For the first contract, this is for the on-bill credit agreement with Air East Solar LLC. Councilor Giannino. Yes. Yes, Councilor Keefe. Yes. Yes, Councilor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councilor Morbido. Yes. Yes, Councilor Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, Councilor Patch. Yes. Yes, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rotundo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Guinasso. Yes. Yes, that contract has been approved. On the second contract for on bill credit agreement with Bridgewater Landfill Solar LLC, Councillor Janino. Yes. Yes, Councillor Keefe. Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councillor Morbido. Yes. Yes, Councillor Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, Councillor Patch. Yes. Yes, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rotundo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Quinasso. Yes. Yes, that contract has been approved. Calendar item number seven, communication from the mayor relative to the Unit A Memorandum of Agreement. In accordance with the provisions of MGL Chapter 150E, Section 7, shall the City Council approve the appropriation necessary to fund the Unit A Memorandum of Agreement covering the period of fiscal years 2019 to 2021. Roll call is in order. On the motion, Councillor Giannino? Yes. Yes, Councillor Keefe. Yes. Yes, Councillor McKenna. Yes. Yes, Councillor Morbido. Yes. Yes, Councillor Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, Councillor Patch. Yes. yes, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rizzo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Rotundo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Guinasso. Yes. Yes, the Unit A memorandum, the funding for the Unit A memorandum of agreement has been approved. Calendar I am number nine. Number nine, on to motions. Mr. President. Councilor Morabito. Can I ask that agenda item number nine and ten to keep um, on file until there's more progress on these short-term rentals? Uh, on the request of the maker if of the motions nine and ten, items number 19-030 and item number 19-031 be held. Mr. President. Councilor Rotundo. Thank you. Um, just to address an issue, um, I know this is on file, but uh, to put in the mind of Councillor Morabito, the issue regarding 30% of revenue of any short-term uh, local tax towards affordable housing assistance subject to the council, what, where would this money be, just for, for purposes of conversation, who would be, I guess, uh, assisting with the affordable housing, the city of Revere? Uh, some nonprofit group, um, and how would that be generated out of the system? Councilor, for all due respect, Kesey, the, the councilor and maker of the motions asked that these be held for further review. So, at that particular case, he's going to go into uh, get these details that you might be uh, asking about. And, and, he's, and there's actually no debate on it when he's asked them that they be held. I'm not asking for a debate, I'm just asking a quick question so that perhaps I can help him. 
Well, you can you can help him if he so desires. I think that, but I think that the order of business thank here. Thank you, Mr. President. Is that we thank hold you. The two. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Is that you. the wish of the council, uh, the maker of the motion, that you hold these? You want some help? So moved. Calendar item number eleven, motion presented by Councilor Guanasso, that the mayor request the traffic commission to roll back the hours of operation of parking meter enforcement on Broadway and Shirley Avenue to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and eliminate parking enforcement on Saturday. This request, Madam Clerk and members of the council, and I'm sure some of the councils and attendants here are uh, weighing the same problem, on Shirley Avenue and on Broadway, uh, many of the local restaurants and businesses are, are feeling the pinch of this particular thing. And uh, one individual, uh, a couple of individuals, every time I go out to dinner, remind me of it. I'm only asking that the Traffic Commission review this. I don't want to um, uproot anything that's been done. I think that the, uh, what the Traffic Commission has done and what the uh, City of Rivera has done in, in putting uh, these new meters in place and, and putting the rules of order in place. But I'm just looking for a little uh, easement on these particular things because there aren't very many restaurants in the city that are oper operating in the profit as it is. And, and to put any hardship on them. And more importantly, it's not just for the restaurant owners, it's for the people who visit those and frequent them. And it's quite a nuisance, to be honest with you, when you have to go out and keep feeding the meter. It becomes really an uncomfortable event when something that's supposed to be a nice experience turns into an ugly experience because you're finding yourself frequently, and I know, because I've done it, and, uh, and it's, it's really not fair I think that up to 5 o'clock is fine. But again, that's the review of the Traffic Commission and the judgment uh, that they wish and if the vote of this council is to send it to that direction. I appreciate it. it on the motion, all in favor? All opposed? So ordered. Calendar item number 12, motion presented by Councillor Keith that the mayor request the Department of Public Works in MassDOT to coordinate the repainting and the repair of the Route 1 overpasses at Mountain Avenue and Park Avenue. Both overpasses are in need of maintenance. Council Keefe. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just, just wanted to bring this up. Both of these are entryways into our city from, obviously from Everett, uh, for the most part. But you know they could use a fresh coat of paint. I'm not suggesting that there has to be this major overhaul on these, these overpasses. But they definitely could use a little scraping and fresh coat of paint. Uh, appreciate some help with the DO or the, the city, but also getting in touch with the DOT. Thank you. Bye. All in favor? All opposed? So ordered. Calendar item at number 13, motion presented by Councilor Guanasso that the following ordinance be ordered to a public hearing, an ordinance relative to certain persons not represented under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 150E, Section 10. Refer to a public hearing on tw uh, February 25th. Calendar item number 14, motion presented by Councillor Powers, that the following amendment to an ordinance relative to snow and ice removal on sidewalks be ordered to a public hearing. Enforcement and exemptions is hereby amended by inserting the words, an owner occupied, before the word residential. Referred to public hearing on February 25th. Calendar item number 15, motion presented by Councillor McKenna, that the City Council present a certificate of commendation to Speaker Robert A. DeLeo for serving the residents of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts as Speaker of the House for 10 years. Councilor McKenna. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I would like to amend this uh, certificate to, uh, to say motion presented by the Revere City Council and not myself. Good, good thoughts. All in favor? All opposed? So ordered. One late drain layer. One late appointment, <coughs> appointment chairperson, Jessica Janino. One late on a licensed drain layer. Go to appointments? Appointments. The, uh, this particular matter, Madam Chairperson, is that we need to vote on it this evening based on the fact that this person is doing business in the city already, and it's through a uh, lapse of uh, sending the proper communication from within this building up here, and this person has to continue on with a legal source. So I ask you the indulgence that you take this out, out this evening, if you would. Understood. Is the applicant present? Yes. Please come to the podium, state your name and address, and, and the chairperson can take over from here. Madam Chairperson. Yeah, Wayne Pettit from Franklin, Mass. Thank you, Mr. President. So this is a reappointment, not a new appointment? Um, new appointment. 
Is it? Oh, I mean, so we were trying to obtain a sewer license. Gotcha. So drainage. if it's a new appointment, how are they already operating? I mean, not new. We're applying for one. So, Madam we're not doing is it a any new work. appointment or a reappointment, Mr. President? It's a oh, yeah. We're just applying for an application to get a license to install uh, sewer and water. We haven't done any work yet. Okay. Have you worked for the city of Revere before? No. No. Okay. That, yep. that clarifies that. Um, do any other councilors have any questions that are on the committee? Uh, I suggest that we keep this. Chairperson. Ma Madam Chairperson, I believe we should put make this go to committee. Because it's not, it's not no, a reappointment. Uh, I, 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 I have not seen any information on it. There are yeah, a request oh, through, through the Mr. President to uh, Council Morbido. I'm the chair and I'm hearing about it at six o'clock this evening, so you're not alone. Uh, but mistakes happen, so we need to deal with it. So we totally understand that. And we don't want to hold someone up from working if all the paperwork is in order and things are moving as they should. So do any other councillors have any questions of the applicant? Just a point of uh, uh, information to Councillor Morbido. This was asked that we do this because they are currently involved in the situation. We're doing a project at St. Jean's Bank. Last call. We're already doing it. Steve. So Steve. can we just get a, an, a, the wish of the chairwoman, a, a show of hands from the committee members on all in favor, all opposed? Is this committee? On, on the motion of the chairperson, all in favor, all opposed? I recuse myself in this, please. Okay. Please note that. Councilor Novoselsky has been accused because it's uh, St. Jean's property. Yeah. All in favor, all opposed? So what? Thank you. Thank you. The okay. clerk will reach out to you to get the paperwork. Okay, thank you. The Revere City Council will be in adjournment until the me uh, February 25th, 2019. Thank you for attendance. <laughs>